Guys, AI isn't just about generating text anymore. It's starting to manage real business systems. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel, where I make smart tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how I turned Claude into a smart business assistant using a platform called Creao. It's a tool that lets you build AI native apps just by describing what you need in plain English. With just a simple prompt, I'll build a full order management system and then link it directly to Cloud so it can handle everything through chat. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Let's dive in and see how it works. Guys, today I'll show you something pretty cool. How to turn Cloud into your personal business assistant using Creao AI. This is a platform for building AI native apps, the ones made to work with intelligent tools from the ground up. We're going to build an order management system in minutes, then hook Cloud up so it can control it just by prompting. I'll walk you through the whole process step by step. So, my friends, here we are on the Creo platform. It's simple. There's a text field where you just describe what you want to build in plain English. You can try inspired ideas and connect integrations over an MCP server. The platform shows the available MCPs and APIs you can use, and you can also look through projects that other people already built to get ideas. Ok, let's build the app, guys. I'll pretend I run a small coffee shop and need an order management system. I've prepared a prompt in natural language describing what I want, customer name, order details and total amount, as well as delivery date and status tracking from new to paid. I also want stats showing earnings and active orders. Alright, I'll hit generate and the smart tool starts a new project. Now it's checking which integrations the app might need. You can connect those integrations right away or skip them and launch the project without them, whatever you prefer. And as you can see, folks, it generates a product brief, then it analyzes the data layer requirements and figures out what to do next, starting with the data schema. It gets to work on the task and before long we've got a full system. So what's done? Let's check it out. The completed features include an order creation form, order editing and order details view. There's also status management, an order list view with status filtering, a revenue dashboard and order statistics. On the tech side it uses a database-backed ORM from RAV CLI, full CRUD operations with TypeScript and required field form validation. There are also sortable columns and a responsive UI. It doesn't have flashy visual bells and whistles. But the interface is clean and tight, exactly what you want for this kind of tool. You also get real-time stats calculations, using React Use Memo and tidy error handling and logging. Modern, practical stuff. Let's test it, guys. I can add a new order, fill in the fields, pick a status, save it, and then view and edit the order, full control. There's even a built-in copilot chat, where you can, for example, create a new order. I tested it and it formatted the order correctly. Then, when I reload the app, the order shows up. You can change statuses, delete orders and watch the progress board. And if you want, you can hook this admin dashboard up to Claude, route orders and even make updates through it. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! Let's move over to the dashboard, folks. In the settings section, there's an MCP connection URL. Now let's go to Claude. Inside its settings, you can find the connector section and click Add Custom Connector. The remote MCP server URL is exactly that same link I just copied. For the name, I can use the same one as our project, Coffee Shop Orders. I'll hit Confirm and you'll see the connector is now active. It shows up under that same name and I can configure it including permissions, either supervised or unsupervised actions. I'll just leave everything as default for now. Now let's test it, guys. In a new cloud chat, I'll ask, do you have access to any order management tools? After a short pause, the bot detects the connector and starts pulling data from the MCP server linked to our project on Creo. It recognizes what actions it can perform with our orders. Let's ask it to create a new order. We can see it requests permission. I'll click Allow. It creates the order, and I can even choose to always allow this action in the chat for future use. The new order is automatically added to the platform, and when I check back on Creao, the new customer and amount are listed. I can change statuses or delete orders if needed. For example, right in the cloud chat, 
I can ask, what's my total revenue today? Claude processes the data, fetches the numbers, and calculates today's total revenue, even listing out each order and the final total. So basically, my friends, I've built a full admin console that works seamlessly with AI assistance. And I didn't just create a standalone app, I connected it to Claude, so now I can manage my system directly through chat using natural language. And that's it, guys. We just turned Claude into a real business assistant that can manage orders, track revenue, and talk directly with our custom app. What's really cool is that we didn't need to code anything. Creao handled it all from a simple prompt. If you want to try this yourself, check it out. The link's in the description. It's super easy to get started. And once you connect it with Claude, you'll see how powerful this combo really is. I'm curious, what kind of app would you build with this? Something for your business? or maybe a personal assistant setup. If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.